right, so I guess the question goes out, what do you get when you take 36,000 Canadians' photos? Yes, yeah, so I will introduce you to award-winning Red Deer photographer, Tim Van Horn. Welcome to Breakfast Television. Thank you for having me. You've been a busy man and you will continue to be for the next uh, few years. You've got to talk to me about this, taking 36,000 photos of uh, Canadians in just nine years. So how did that come to be? Yeah, well, in 2017, Canada is turning 150 years old. So it's an opportunity to bring the whole country together and celebrate our cultural identity. Who are we? What do we look like? We're a big country. We're spread out. People don't always get to Newfoundland. People don't always get to Vancouver. So we're not sure really who we are. We don't get to meet one another. It's not like Denmark where you can travel all over the place and sort of interact with all these people around you. So my mission is that uh, I, I left Red Deer, Alberta on October 1st, 2008, four years ago and headed east and I've been all over the, the country to every province and territory and I've created 17,500 portraits. And so what I do is I stand on a street corner, I set up my background and I ask every single person who's going by to have a photograph. What's the, what's the uh, reception been like for them? Well, you know, depending where you are, it can be dismal and, and it's really hard when 10 people in a row say no. And it's very enlightening when 10 people in a row say yes. And get excited about it. Yeah, so I, I think I got about an 80% su success rate. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. good. So. And, and when we're looking at these backgrounds, I'm seeing a lot of them are red and white. So is that something you're going for? Or what's your goal? Yeah, the yeah. well, we know what the Canadian flag looks like. So it, it's, it's still going to have the red and white. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm weaving in all these different colors. Blue, that's part of our uh, environment. Green, that's part of our, our environment. And also, I'm going to all these beautiful landmarks. Say there's a cenotaph in the middle of your town. Say Parliament. Say the post office, which is where everybody meets. So I use those important backgrounds, those important buildings as, as a background and weave those into the, the mosaic. So it's, it's all random. I don't know who I'm meeting. The reception is mixed. Some people say no, they don't want their picture taken. Some people, you know, say yes and they pull 20 bucks and go here. I'm so happy you're doing this. And which they, is, they which tear is good. Up. Yeah. Because uh, this, is, this is a full time thing for you for nine years. So that was my first question to you in the green room was how are you affording to do this? Well, I come from a military background, right? So I have, a, I have a sense of duty for the people, okay? I'm here to serve my country and my people. And so it, I'm adamant that something like this happens for this birthday. So I'm funding it on my own because I want this to happen. And, and you're cutting back because you said, I literally am living in a van down by the river, literally. Yes. I think we have a photo of that too. Yes, <laughs> uh, I live in a van down by the river and there's lots of jokes about that, but I have to cut costs. So I put like $200 in my, my gas tank a week and I have to eat, sleep and, you know, work out of my van. And so that's the only way I can do it. So yeah, I've done it for four years. And my theory is when you do good things, good things happen to you and you're taken care of. And that might be idealistic, but that's how this whole thing it's is happening. It's working for you so far. That's how it's all happening. It's working. So really quickly, we want to talk about, obviously you've taken thousands of photos and you're going to continue to take tens of thousands of more photos. Yes. So for uh, photographers at home, amateur or professional, what are the key points to taking a good portrait? Well, I think the biggest thing is the connection with that person. You have to look them in the eye. You have to make them feel special. You have to convince them that they are it, okay? So my, my, my job is to meet you, put you at ease, do the math on your face, do the math on your body, find the center, and then come in and find the light within to capture Like you said to Barb, essence. Barb didn't want her photo taken. He's like, you look beautiful. Yeah. And, then, and then she got the photo. You have yeah. to make them feel special, <laughs> you know, and sincere. You have to be sincere. And then you get down a little bit lower and you make them feel like they're a supermodel. And it's those stories that you want uh, Canadians to share as well through uh, Tim Hortons and uh, Tassimo. Yeah, I'm here today with Tim Hortons and Tassimo. They're uh, sending me across the country, uh, encouraging. Which is helping. Yes, it's <laughs> definitely helping. Encouraging uh, Canadians to write in uh, why they need to be reunited with their loved one. So you go to the Tassimo Canada Facebook page, you write a beautiful little poetry of why you need to be uh, reunited with your loved one, and the winner is going to have uh, their loved one flown from anywhere in the world to be, uh, be together for the holidays. Yeah, eh? and have a cup of Tim yeah. Hortons coffee in the comfort of your uh, your living room. Well, right now we're going to be giving away a Tassimo, a Tim Hortons giveaway, which 
is uh, valued at about $250. So you can head to our website at breakfasttelevision.ca and uh, the lucky viewer will have the chance to win a Tim Hortons uh, Tasmo prize pack, which includes the Tasmo T55 Brewer and various Tim Hortons tea disc coffees, including the premium blend, the decaf, and the latte. So again, that's breakfast television. Thank you so much, Tim. And I can't wait to see uh, in 2017, correct? Yes. The 36,000 photos yes. all come together. That's right. Okay, good. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Breakfast Television continues in the next few minutes. We've got news, weather, and traffic coming up next. Stay with us.